Hi guys, my name is Zakir and I welcome all of you in this computer networking course. Before we start, let's have a look at the agenda of today's session. So firstly, we will discuss about what is computer network. After that, we will discuss about characteristics of computer network. Then after, we will discuss about types of network. And at the end, I will briefly explain the summary of this lecture. So without wasting any more time, let's start with a simple definition of computer network. A computer network is a system that connects numerous independent computers in order to share information and resources. The integration of computers and other different devices allows users to communicate more easily. A network connection can be established using either cable or wireless media. Hardware and software are used to connect computers and tools in any network. So this is what computer network is in brief. Now let's take a look at the features of computer network. There are many features of computer network which include communication speed, file sharing, security, backup and role backup is easy, software and hardware sharing, scalability and reliability. Communication speed Network provides us to communicate over the network in a faster and efficient manner. For example, we can do video conferencing, email messaging and many more things. And this is possible only because of computer network. File sharing This is one of the major advantages of computer network. Every day, millions of people share the files with each other. Security Network allows the security by ensuring that the user has the right to access the certain files and applications or not. Backup and role backup is easy. Since the files are stored in the main server, therefore it is easy to take the backup from the main server. Software and hardware sharing We can install the application on the main server, therefore the user can access the application centrally. So we don't need to install software on every machine. Similarly, hardware can also be shared. Scalability Scalability means that we can add the new components on the network. Network must be scalable so that we can extend the network by adding new devices. Reliability Computer network can use the alternative source for the data communication in case of any hardware failure. So these are some characteristics of computer network. Now let's move on to the types of network. Network can be divided based on four factors. That is division based on communication medium, division based on area covered, division based on types of communication and division based on type of architecture. Division based on communication medium has two basic types that is wired network and wireless network. Wired network as we all know, wire refers to any physical medium made up of cables, copper wire, twisted pair or fabric optic cables. A wire network employs wires to link devices to the internet or another network, such as laptops or desktops. Wireless network Wireless means without wire. Media, media that is made up of electromagnetic waves or infrared waves. Antennas and sensors will be present on our wireless devices. Cell phones, wireless sensors, TV remotes, satellite disk receivers, and laptops are all examples of wireless devices. For data or voice communication, a wireless network uses radio frequency waves rather than wires. Now let us discuss about division based on area covered. Division based on area covered has three basic types. Local area network LAN, metropolitan area network MAN, and wide area network WAN. Local Area Network A LAN is a network that covers an area of around 2-3 to three kilometers, for example, a college network or an office network. Metropolitan Area Network MAN MAN refers to a network that covers an entire city. The area covered by MAN is around 100 kilometers. Wide Area Network WAN WAN refers to a network that connects countries or continents. For example, the internet allows users to access a distributed system called www from anywhere in the globe. Now let's discuss about division based on types of communication. Division based on types of communication has two basic types. Point to point networks and broadcast networks. Point to point networking is a type of data networking that establishes a direct link between two networking nodes. A direct link between two devices such as a computer and a printer is known as point-to-point -point connection. Broadcast networks In broadcast networks, a signal method in which numerous parties can hear a single sender. Radio stations are an excellent illustration of broadcast network in everyday life. The radio station is a sender of data signal. In this scenario, a radio is only intended to travel in one direction, away from the radio transmission tower to be precise. 
Now let's discuss about division based on type of architecture. Division based on type of architecture has three basic types. P2P networks, that's peer-to-peer -peer networks, client server networks and hybrid networks. P2P networks, peer-to-peer -peer networks. Computers with similar capabilities and configurations are referred to as peers. The peers in a P2P network are computer systems that are connected to each other over the internet without the use of a central server. Files can be shared directly between systems on the network. Client server networks Each computer on the network is either a client or a server in a client server architecture. The client asks services from the server, which the server provides. Servers are high performance computers or processors that manage file sharing printers for network traffic. Hybrid networks the hybrid mode refers to a network that uses a combination of client-server and peer-to-peer -peer architecture, for example, Torrent. So these are the types of networks. Before moving to the summary of this lecture, let me tell you one more important thing that is about ARPANET. So ARPANET was the first computer network it may ask you in interview questions or in computer exams and ARPANET stands for Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Note it down because it is a very important point. Now at the end, let me remind you what we have learned in this lecture. So first we have learned what is computer network which is a group of computers that are connected together in order to share information and resources. Then we have learned characteristics of computer networks which includes communication speed, file sharing, security and scalability. After this we have learned types of networks which we have divided based on four factors that is based on the communication medium, based on the area covered, based on types of communication and based on type of architecture. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys like it, like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Crassport for more informative videos related to programming, ethical hacking and cybersecurity. See you next time. Till then, thank you and bye bye.